Hi, it's Max here, and welcome back to Lawn Hub's channel. <laughs> Imagine having to talk through one of these. It's the stupidest fucking thing. Everyone in Australia's got them on at the moment, it sucks. Hi everyone, Max here from Lawn Hub and welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since we've done a video and as you can see, familiar backdrop, we are back at Clint's place. For those of you that are new to the channel and haven't watched the previous videos, make sure you go back and watch a couple. Um, it's been a bit of a series and ongoing updates here at Clint's. This is a Tiff Tough lawn that was planted April two years ago now. So at the start of winter here in Adelaide, we decided to over sow with perennial ryegrass. So we got a pretty good strike. We had the master himself, Simon Rice, come out and give us a hand, give us a few pointers on the cool season grass variety and all came up pretty well. A little bit of, little bit of patchiness here and there where we missed, we over sowed a few times. Um, down further down the side where there's some shade, we'll show you later. Uh, been a bit of an ongoing project. Not much of the tiff survived the initial winter there. So we put three lots of ryegrass down in that area, top dressed it. It's come back pretty good now, but um, yeah, it's time to kill it. So we're going to take you through the process of removing the ryegrass from the Bermuda or tiff tuff. And it's a bit of a lengthy process, although. It's quick once it actually happens, the killing of it. Um, we're gonna use a herbicide, pretty broad spectrum herbicide that I won't name just yet. We'll talk about that in the next video. But first today, we are gonna give this lawn a feed. Yes, that might sound a bit weird. We're gonna give it a granular fertilize to really plump it up, get the ryegrass booming, and it'll probably give the tiff a little kick as well. So we're gonna get that done today. We're gonna to be back here next week, and we're gonna spray a broad spectrum, broad spectrum herbicide on the lawn. It's gonna kill the ryegrass over a period of nine to 10 days, and then we're gonna commence our spring renovation. So spring renovations are just on around the corner. We are gonna be doing a heavy renovation here at Clint's to remove everything and get the tiff really going again, and a bit of top dressing here and there to level things up for him so he's uh, nice to play on for the kids and, and the dog can have its toilet here as usual. <laughs> so the so the plan so so the plan is now to get rid of the rye out of the tiff and have it booming for Christmas Day or thereabouts. All right, guys. Last time you saw us here, we had some broadleaf weeds popping up in amongst the ryegrass and tiff. Um, we had some clover. We had some cud weed and we had some, just some milky thistle um, popping up everywhere. So we treated that with bow and arrow. Uh, fantastic product, 50 mils per 100 square meters. We used Blazon as our spray dye indicator. Gave us a great coverage. We saw exactly where we were hitting. Um, we were getting good adhesion to the leaf. We used the wetter, um, perfect result. This is an area that was really struggling with weeds uh, up in this corner and down behind me to the shadow there. Um, came up fantastic, killed every weed that we wanted to. We are pretty clean, uh, cannot see one. Unless Clint's done a massive hand weed, uh, it looks like the, the herbicide's done its job. So we sprayed a little bit in the garden beds as well. We knocked over most of those. We didn't want to get too close to, the, to some of the plants. Um, but yeah, done a fantastic job. You can see that the, the tiff and the rye are working pretty well. We're starting to get some sun here in Adelaide, so it won't be far away from um, boom time for us here and yeah we'll we'll get on with a renovation pretty soon <laughs> marinate the nether rod in the squish pit and like jim carrey and when he's looking in the <laughs> <laughs> how close all right guys so just a small quick update on the ryegrass here um you can see this patch basically had no grass at all left there was a bits and spats of, of tiff tough there. Um, so we've, this, this is basically full ryegrass now. At this stage, we're gonna keep it here. Um, Clint's gonna irrigate it and keep it here year round, um, just so that we don't have a big mud pie sitting here for the kids and dog to run through and destroy Celeste's house. So um, 
yeah, at this stage, we're gonna keep it. We're gonna feed it today, all as one, but then next week when we spray the herbicide, we'll, we'll leave that from the border uh, where the shade comes in. So all in all, pretty good result. Couple of little bare spots, we can, we can overseed that again. Um, but yeah, at least we've got grass there, hey? I need a leak, man. Hello. <laughs> this was not meant to be seen. It's just like trying to start a mower. Yeah, everything seems to be in order down here. Sump's working well. Ready? Oh! This is the problem when you use other people's gear. This thing's no good. Hey? Bunnings. Oh, this is I started again. Nah. We're gonna root his lawn up. I'm gonna do it by hand. I'll do it by hand. I'm, I'm good at this. No, I'm good at this. I've got plenty of practice on it. No, go and get a Scots spreader from the place that's big and green and has riding up the top. The stuff where you the stuff where you don't buy your fertilizer, you buy fertilizer from us. It's the most Clint thing ever. Come to his house and everything's broken. But it's my fault. I am a greenkeeper and I don't have my own spreader here. This could be an Olympic sport. This is a talent though, like when you dumped that ryegrass seed in one spot, it just showed that practice makes perfect. Oh, this is the lawn bowls alley, I forgot. So yeah, in, in closing, I'm gonna name and shame. <laughs> That's terrible, don't get these. Just spend the extra 10 bucks, get something good. <laughs> Sorry, Saxon, <laughs> they'll sue us, again. <laughs> All right, guys, this is the time of the year we want to get our acelaprin out. This is the GR, the granular. Um, for those of you that haven't used it before and looking to use it, it's a small prill granular. Um, it doesn't need irrigation straight away. Uh, I think you've got up to 24 hours to water it in. So um, it will knock down some of the like army worm and things like that that you get up mainly in the east coast of Australia. Um, if you leave it on for the first 24 hours, then water it in. Uh, once it's watered in at the rate of 750 grams per 100 square meters, it should last you up to three to four months. Uh, it's a residual in the soil. It'll, it'll prevent the larvae of black beetle um, and um, dem weevil. So fantastic product, completely safe um, for pets, kids, uh, other insects like bees. Uh, in the past, there's been a lot of horrible uh, insecticides going around that will kill bees and, and all that sort of stuff. We want to keep that alive in our gardens. Um, they are pretty important to our ecosystem. So yeah, Acelepin GR, chuck it out now, uh, going at the high rate of, I think it's 1.5 kilos per hundred. Uh, will last you up to six months. So people in South Australia, that could potentially get you all the way through your season. Um, people up in Queensland, New South Wales, um, you'll probably need to apply twice because you have a bit longer season where they're active. So yeah, we'll get some of that out here today at Clint's as well. We've just chucked out some Trojan and we'll put out the Acelepin now. You want me to get a bit sweaty for it? I don't mind applying this one by hand because uh, you guys can't see how much and where it's going because it's brown. But another tip is you can put it in your garden beds. Absolutely safe. How good is getting your Weber out, getting your lawn cut, get your Weber out, smoke some meat and 
sit down and drink cold beer all day. Yeah, you come to my place in summer. All right, so guys, that's the end of the clip today. We have put out some Trojan on the lawn in preparation for the killing of the rye. We'll call that the next one, um, next week. So we're gonna be using it, as I said before, a broad spectrum herbicide to knock down the rye and kill any other weeds that we missed, like winter grass and broadleaf grass, although there's not many. Guys, thank you so much for watching our videos. We have reached the magical milestone for us of a thousand subscribers. Thank you very much. Continue watching. We've got some great clips coming up, spring renovations, how to kill your ryegrass out of the tiff tuff, and so much more, including a new series that we won't name just yet, but we will bring that to you soon. So guys, thanks again for subscribing and share it. Share it with your friends. If you've got lawn enthusiasts, push them over to the channel, see some great clips, go through our old clips, and uh, yeah, just enjoy your lawn. Thanks guys.